Good morning. It's December, it's wet and cold here, very overcast. This is a fallen ash tree just come down in the recent storms in the UK. It's not very promising conditions to do a lens review. This is a 25mm CCTV lens rated at f1.4. It's unbranded, costs £16 on eBay, which is just over $20. This particular lens has a micro four thirds adapter. The lens also comes supplied with these. These are extension rings, and it turns the lens into a macro. It won't be able to focus on infinity, but it will be able to focus very close. Everything in this video from now on will be filmed through this lens on a Panasonic GH4. Let's see how we get on. Okay, first thing to say about this lens, it's fully manual. Stepless aperture, really useful when you're videoing. Manual focus, but the focus and aperture ring are reversed to a standard SLR lens. Very easy to adjust the focus and in fact, adjust the aperture by mistake. It's not an easy lens to use if you're most familiar with modern digital autofocus lenses. But if you practice, it's quite fun. Remember, if you intend to use a lens like this on the Panasonic GH4 or similar, this lens does not communicate with the camera body. You must switch it to operate with that lens, which you can do in the custom menu. It's not the best made lens on the planet. You'll find that it very easily unscrews when you don't want it to. I had to modify the micro four thirds adapter so it fitted the camera correctly it just wouldn't lock properly and it's very stiff to focus sometimes but persevere it's worth it one of the reasons for wanting the lens like this is its wide aperture which creates a very shallow depth of field it's great for achieving the film look and at 16 pound 20 odd dollars you can't really complain can you Eyes begin to drizzle now, it's really awful, overcast, visibility is very poor. Let's go home and see how this lens performs indoors. Okay, we've got a video light running now. The camera lens is set at f1.4, it's wide open. And there you have that lovely bokeh effect, just for 16 pound. Okay, well, I hope that's helped. This is a great little lens to experiment with. It's inexpensive at 16 pound on eBay. Um, it did have a fault when it arrived. The adapter ring needed modification before it would fit correctly on my GH4. And it is not always easy to use. The focusing is a little bit stiff and inconvenient so close 
to the adapter ring there. But the stepless aperture is really useful when you're videoing. This one's a little bit noisy and scratchy, but what do you expect? If you want to create the film look, this is a really handy little device to inexpensively create shallow depth of field, great bokeh, and that lovely, soft, dreamy look that much more expensive lenses cannot achieve. Go out and buy one and have some fun with this. It's really great. You can't beat it for £16. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.